our first stint behind the wheel of the Alnu, 10th generation Honda Civic, we knew we had a winner on our hands. Even the base car, with its less powerful 1.8-liter engine and optional CVT transmission, immediately showed that this Civic had plenty of potential from the perspective of its willing chassis. It just needed a more engaging powertrain. And here, your reward for several months of patience, sits the new Civic C Coupe. A quick look at the figures immediately sent our expectations sailing upwards. 205 horsepower and 192 lbfd of torque from a 1.5 liter turbocharged i4 mated to a 6 speed, 3 pedal manual transmission? Sounds good to us. The driving position of the Civic C is very good, with plenty of steering wheel extension and tilt to get perfectly comfortable. You feel like you sit low in the car, but outwards visibility with a positively panoramic feeling windscreen and smallish pillars makes plotting each apex dive a joy. But what you want to know is how the Civic C feels on your favorite stretch of back road. To give you an idea, we took the car up to Glendora Mountain Road, one of our favorite stretches of twisty pavement, hit the sport button, disabled stability control, and let rip. What we found is that the Civic C is a very capable, sporty coupe with positive handling and strong brakes that felt up to the task for brisk road driving, even with some elevation change built into the scenario. The suspension is a bit of give and take between performance and a more comfortable damping rate, but for this class of car, the overall balance is very good. Of course, a front-wheel drive coupe is always going to be compromised compared to the alternatives, and while Torx Deer wasn't an issue with our little backroad burner, asking too much of the front tires ultimately gives understeer and a little bit of a lateral hopping sensation where the front tires occasionally seemed to skip across the pavement on very tight turns. This, even with the factory 23540R18 summer tires mounted a $200 option. We also found ourselves briefly waiting for the turbo to spool on our hilly test route. But that's to be expected in most small displacement, single turbo applications. Around town and on the freeway, the Civic C is an excellent choice if a small, Tidor coupe fits your lifestyle. While the aesthetics may be a little too busy for some staffers, the car is comfortable and feature packed, with a 7 inch display, rear view camera, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, heated sports seats, a limited slip differential dual-zone climate control, and a power moonroof, all standard equipment. At an as-tested price of $24,975, including an $875 destination fee in the aforementioned summer tire markup, the Civic C Coupe makes a compelling argument for itself. Those looking for a little sharper driving experience will still find themselves gravitating to either the Toyota 86 or Subaru BRZ Coupe which offer a more pure sports car experience at the disadvantage of slightly higher cost and less refinement. Yet, as in every men's or every woman's sports coupe, the Civic C's livability and non-frantic nature makes a better choice in daily driving. 2017 Honda Civic C Coupe specifications on sale now price $23,900 $24,975 Baz tested engine 1.5 liters turbocharged DOC 16 valve I 4205 HP at 5,700 revolutions per minute, 192 lbft at 2,1005. 000 revolutions per minute transmission 6 speed manual layout 2 door, 4 passenger. Front engine, FWD Coupe EPA mileage 2,838 miles per gallon City Huey LXWX H177.4 by 70.8 by 54.7 in wheelbase 106.3 and weigh 2,889 pounds 060 miles per hour 6.2 seconds estate top speed 130 miles per hour estate show more.